Heather Hayes joining me in, in uh, studio in the newsroom, and we've got Mike Warner in Sky 4. Mike, if you can hear me, and I, I know that you can, and it, it's a little delayed here, but I want you to kind of zoom in again. We've been hearing stories, and you zoomed in on it last time. A possible connection here is where they were putting in those power lines, and I kind of want to, as you've been looking at where this transmission line, where this rupture is, you also showed some line, some of those power poles going in, and it almost looks up like that lines up a little bit. There's a well, we have an unconfirmed report coming out of the uh, a fire department working on this that maybe the digging of those power poles they're quite bigger, quite a bit bigger than those wooden poles that are out there might be along that transmission line. And I don't know if you, as you give us that perspective, I think as you went to the left here a little bit, there was one lying on its side that was about to be put up or something like that. And it almost looks like those are running yeah. right on that transmission line. Yeah, absolutely. And, um, you know, obviously yeah. we're speculating, so we don't really know yeah. exactly what's going on there. But you can see this right here uh, where, where these trucks are burned up. That clearly is a, a, a power line um, pole, a power pole being put in. Right to the right of that is this uh, transmission area. One of the, you know, the, um, oh, <laughs> I had a loss for words, but one of the transmission areas for power where they, you know, supply the area. As I go to the left here, uh, I'm going to go past the fire here and I'm going to show you a couple of things that we noticed just right in line with that. Here you go. There's power lines, brand new, brand new poles that they look like they're about to put in. And it goes down for, oh, a mile or so. There's several uh, power poles um, laying there. Uh, as they're going to be put in. So um, it just goes to, you know, it, you just kind of put two and two together. Whether or not that has to do anything with the explosion, absolutely just speculating. But it's, uh, you know, pretty coincidental. And, I, you know, I don't know what's being heard on the other end of that. But as as we can see, there's definitely some work there where those trucks are burned up, where those tractors are. Um, definitely they're putting up a power pole right there. You can see it. You can see where those bucket uh, trucks are. They're putting up a brand new power pole. So it's uh, it may be just coincidental, at, at, or it may be something else. We don't know. We're just speculating at this point. All right, we're looking at live pictures right now from Sky 4. We have our pilot and our photographer with us. Give us an update on what you're showing us right now. We see that there's a crew, a person walking through some of this debris where the fireball had been earlier. Yeah, that's it. He that's can talk and uh, give us a little bit yeah, of a uh, where, uh, where you can see these guys walking. That's actually where the fireball was coming out of, where that you see that pipe going in. There are people walking around down there, and it's uh, the fire obviously is now out. And what else is going on down here too? As I widen out the shot, um, you can see the huge charred area. There's numerous brush fires around the perimeter of the scene, and then down here where some of these electrical workers were working, um, while we were, uh, while you guys were talking, the, one of these fires that the one of the trucks had caught fire again, so the fire department came in. They're actually, you can see it right there on your screen, they're putting out one of those fires. And again, around the perimeter, there are crews starting to move around into the area of where the actual fireball was. Um, and there's also some crews working out in these out, outer areas where there's been some pretty good brush fires going on. There's really not a, there's not any kind of uh, structures or anything in harm's way out there, but there are a lot of trees and tall brush that have uh, been on fire. So they're putting out those fires as we speak. Um, but right now, we have seen some people move into the actual scene. You can see where that pole was into where the uh, the gas line was, where that fireball was. Next to it looks like some type of excavation machine that was there. They were checking that out, looking underneath it. Um, so there are people moving in to, to see what's going on in there. Right now, we have Mark Warner, who is in Sky 4, to give us an update on the situation. And just a few minutes ago, Mike, we saw people walking into this area, and they're trying to now get more information about what did happen down there. Yeah, there was some people walking in the area. Area earlier, they were looking, uh, as I zoom in, this, you're looking basically at ground zero where this blast was. Uh, th we can see kind of a pipe right there just underneath where that little ditch is. That's where that gas line was, and it looked like it had been split open. Just to the left of that, there's an auger bit from a drill. Don't know if that's what was used, but it's pretty close to the scene, and, and probably when they were using dig digging equipment, this was part of it. Also, right to the right of it, looks like some kind of excavation equipment completely uh, destroyed right there you can see that and we had some people out here earlier looking underneath that checking for you know possibly what happened see if they can investigate that right up from here there's a fire truck that just came on scene there were some more smoldering areas um, another piece of equipment out here 
that was burning. I'm not exactly sure what that is. They are out there spraying some water on that. So we definitely have people that are on the scene now, moving into the scene as it, as it settles down a little bit, cools off. They also have people around the perimeter. There were several grass fires, several big, pretty good sized grass fires burning. They have put most of those out at this point. So the smoke has died down, it's starting to cool down, and we do have people on scene. I want to show you an interesting comparison. Mike Warner has been flying over that scene now for several hours, and Mike, uh, you, both of us together, kind of discovered that twisted, what we call the pole setter. You see the auger on the back of this one. You're going to do a little comparison of kind of before and after. We think the, the one that was responsible potentially for clipping this, this line looks a lot different than this one, which is the before picture, right? Go ahead. Yeah, look at that. And it's, uh, Clearly, that's an in truck, or intact truck with the power pole sitting there. Now, hang on, I'm going to zoom way over here. It's probably about three or 400 yards to the left here. We're going to zoom into the to the truck that we believe may have been involved in setting off this explosion. As you look at that, that truck that we just saw a second ago is the exact same one that you're looking at right here. This one is just a pile of rubble, completely melted. And then right above that, you can see the pole that we believe pierced that that pipeline. And then, it, you know, clearly they, that's what they were doing. And as I zoom in, you can see where that pipeline, where that pole was put in, and that pipeline just completely split apart. And it's pretty amazing, the, the power of the force of that explosion. And one of the people uh, first up over this, this fireball here is Fox 4 photojournalist Mike Warner joining us now from Sky 4. Mike, what can you tell us? Well, when we first uh, came on scene here, when we, we were flying to the scene, we saw the fireball probably 30 miles away. It looked like kind of like a sun, you know, when the sun set, it's just about to go over the horizon. That's what it looked like. It looked like a, the sun was in a big ball on the horizon. As we got closer, obviously, the, the huge fireball, we stayed about three quarters of a mile away from that fireball, and it was really hot. We keep the door, one of the doors off on our helicopter to keep us cool, and man, it was really, really hot. Uh, spent a lot of time over fires, and I've never had anything that hot before. Um, we stayed on the scene for quite a while, obviously, and, and watched it go. Eventually, they were able to shut the gas off, and here's what we find. We find a, a burned up, what appears to be a pole setter truck and the pole, and now we learn, of course, that that pole may have pierced that pipeline, and that's what caused this whole thing. And I want to show you real quick, uh, we showed some viewers earlier, one of the earlier newscasts, but real quick, I just want to give you a comparison here. I'm going to zoom over here real quick, hang with me. I'm going to show you what this pole setter truck looks like normally. Uh, this is the exact same truck. They have an actual line of them here. I've seen about two or three of them. A uh, pole setter truck just like this is the one that we believe is involved in the incident. I'm going to go ahead and zoom back over. I don't want to get too seasick, but I'm going to zoom back over here and uh, show you this truck, what's left of the truck that may have been involved in this incident. It's the closest one to it. And as you can see, it was just completely incinerated in that blast.